finally, I'm going to give you a tour around my boat. She is 65 feet long and 12 foot wide. She was built in 2012 and she is a replica Dutch barge. So we're on land, so I'm going to show you the walk to the boat first. I've got quite a lot of neighbours, boat neighbours. Not this though, this is my friend Max's. This is not a boat, this is a... Well, I don't really know what it is. A floating shipping container of some kind? Now, most people, when they do these videos, they like polish the deck, they clean the boat, they clean everything. I, I haven't done that, I haven't had time to do that. So you're just going to have to imagine it's pristine and clean. <laughs> first things first, the wheelhouse. Ah, I'll tidy that another day and then I'll close the door and open it again and then with the magic of film we'll be transported and it's clean. Welcome to the wheelhouse that has no wheel because this boat does not have an engine but it does offer views 360 degrees all the way around. On a day like this it's the best place to be. And as you come down the steps, you arrive here. The kitchen. Galley. It's galley. All right, I'm not very good with those nautical words yet. This kitchen has been recently redone. I made a video about it, you can see. I honestly think it probably didn't even cost me 100 quid. I've kept the same kitchen cabinets, repainted the doors, changed the fittings. This sink was given to me by my great auntie and uncle. So this was all free. And all of this worktops, as I explained in my other video, was all leftover wood from a project I made when I was building a tiny home office. So actually, this is the cheapest kitchen ever. We even have a ridiculously large, range-sized electric cooker. Not many boats will have something like this. This is ridiculous, actually. <laughs> it's just stupid. The best bit though, obviously, is this. The skylight. I should probably clean that bird shit off. Best money I've spent. Completely opens up the whole room. Love it. Love it. This is the dining room. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to Google what the nautical word is for dining room. And? What is it? Um, I, I don't know. Who's the idiot now? Yeah, me. And yes, we haven't moved very far from the kitchen, but that's because it's all open plan. But if I didn't split the room up like this, the video would already be over, and I'd just be sitting around being unemployed again. So I'm, I'm gonna split it up. <laughs> I'm very proud of this table. I, I built it in a couple of days. It does the job, it looks good. It's hefty, mine. It's bloody hefty. I'm sitting on a hundred and something year old church pews that I very sadly had to cut up. You're witnessing sacrilege. And I feel absolutely terrible doing this. Oh. Cutting into 150 years. Badly, probably. <laughs> Um, I know that's sacrilege, but I had to get it to fit in the boat. It's lucky I'm not a particularly pious man because me sawing these in half is, is not very, uh, <laughs> not that good. <laughs> this is the living room. Saloon! Don't be so bloody dramatic. No, it's only showing come people on. around the house. It's not, it's ridiculous. No, no, no. you're Every, being, I can't you're say overreacting a word. like, like mad. It's stupid. Just, right just shut up. Unbelievable. Right, move on. Get over with it. This is our bedroom. Uh, birth, sorry. No, I'm not going to try and sit here and say anything funny about this one because it'll end up being some sort of an innuendo and I'm pretty sure my future in-laws might be watching this video, so I don't want to go down that road. Hi. This is actually one of two bedrooms on this boat. This is our bedroom. It's actually the smaller one, but it's cosy. We love it. This is the first room that I rebuilt from scratch ever. So um, I'm quite chuffed with it. It doesn't look too bad. Nearly every part of the wall is curved in some way. It's light. It's really warm. It's great. 
I really like this room. It's not as cool as the other bedroom though. I've put the camera in the walkway. Well, that's probably disgustingly close up. <laughs> this is our walk-in wardrobe. It's pretty spacious and up above here is the area where we sit and have lunch out on deck at the top, at the, the front, the, the bow. This is the second set of stairs and they go up, up to the top, out the bow. Just in case any burglars wanted to know that there's another entrance in. Um, it's locked on the inside and you can't get in. That's what I should say. Yes. That's, I don't really know what to say about it. This is really weird. I'm just an unemployed man on my own walking around my home talking to a camera with no one there really. Now for the bit that everyone's interested in and they always ask me about it all the time. Trumpet fanfare please. The toilet. Or, um, voiceover man, please tell me what it is. The head. Thank you. Here it is, I'll pull it out. This is it. It's a cassette loo. It sort of feels a bit like a normal toilet, only the top comes off and then all your niceties and stuff get stored in this sealed tank underneath and then what you basically when it's full you manhandle it out the boat and chuck it away somewhere over on land. I should say it goes into a proper sewage system and it's all very above board and okay. It's not the nicest part about boat living but it's also not as bad as you think it is. But we find this thing works really well for us. We don't have to empty it often, probably every couple weeks. More like once a week. It's got a flush on the left and you have to use special chemicals and all that stuff but I built it into the into the actual wall so it's all shaped so it fits around it so it does feel, I hope, it feels like a normal loo when it slots in. That was the idea anyway and on the other side is the shower room. I built this about oh, nine months ago. We have mains water on this boat, so it's just like a house, the same pressure of the lot. So we've got really good shower, really good water quality. There's a pump here. So when you have a shower, there you go, it's like a house. When you have a shower, the water comes through here into the waste system and then there's this pump which pulls it up and chucks it outside. And you're allowed to do that. So all the waste water from your showers and your sinks and, and the lot all basically just goes back into the system. So you've got to be careful to use nice eco-friendly products. I should explain that we're under the wheelhouse right now. So that's why the roof's so small, but a real boat uh, with an engine, I think is supposed to have the engine here. So it's under the wheelhouse but because we don't have an engine, we've actually utilized all this space. So we've got our toilet and our shower and our washing machine, everything in this part, which means we have more space for bedrooms and living. And it's actually, I think it's a really good design. I should say that, I designed it. <laughs> and now for the main attraction, the room that everyone is obsessed with, the pièce de résistance. Oh. This is a bit of a workshop room. In fact, this is the workshop room. Um, damn, that is embarrassing. Okay, um, we'll redo that at a future date when it's clean and tidy. Um, I'll just push the door back and, and you'll have no idea. Well, it's just a few minutes, days, a couple of weeks later, and it's all finished. Now, don't be alarmed why the camera's pointing up as a very, very normal reason for that. Completely normal. Um, just, uh, just, just trying to get you the best angle for the best shot. Yeah, I think here's good. Oh, I love it. Oh, don't, no, don't look at that bit. So you walk up the stairs. I built these stairs into the loft bed. 
it brings you up to the loft bed. Now, <coughs> this bed is sunken into the floor. So I've cut out and made a separate platform lower shaped in the size of the bed. So when you're lying on the mattress, you're flush and level with the surrounding floor. I love this room. This is definitely by far the coolest room. Nothing is particularly flat in this room. Everything is curved because that's just what the shape is like here at the back of the boat. Stern, sorry, the stern of the boat. <laughs> it's properly boaty, this one. I'm still building this thing. I absolutely loved spending the last couple of years building it, ripping things out, redoing things, and turning it into our home. And hopefully we won't have to give it up anytime soon, but um, she's lovely. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the boat. If you have any questions, comment below. I will do my best to answer them properly. Next week, I'm gonna be making a film about my tiny home office and continuing to do that one. So that's pretty exciting. Stay tuned for that one. Thank you to all my patrons. Honestly, I could not still be making videos if it wasn't for you, so thank you. Thank you to Skinner, the legend from across the pond who used to do all the graphic design work for Great Big Story. He's helping me out with some graphics packages and all the new graphics stuff that's going on in these videos. Also, very exciting and brilliant. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next week.